How are you feeling? Good, feeling good. Uh, it's one day at a time. You know, it's good to be back out here with the guys. Uh, and I'm enjoying it. It's cool, you know, training camp's different now. I get to see faces of my teammates. I get to know the different guys. Uh, getting with Rob Sale, getting with Coach Sale, getting with Coach Ben, Coach Flats. Uh, it's, it's all, it's going good. I really enjoy this. So when uh, when you got hurt, Joe said something like, "If you even hurt, you would like chew out of your chew off your leg or something to be out there." Like, <laughs> I like to practice. Yeah. You know, I like to practice. I like to work. I want to get better every single day, and uh, I'm just taking it, you know, a day at a time. What, how, how scary was that injury? Uh, scary? Yeah, I mean, was there any uh, that it might be serious? You know, I mean, it's football. You know, it's football. You know, it's stuff happens. You know, and I, I've been just working my butt off to to get better every single day. Even though you know I might not be out there, but I'm still you know trying to work. So it was the Kirby ride, right? What's that? When the car takes you off, you the ride. And then... Oh, that was. I was mad. <laughs> you know, it's it it you know, it's whatever. You know, it happened. What happened? What happened? Uh, I'm just trusting this treatment staff and uh, the plan and the process to get back and get going. How do you? Uh, how, how do you? Oh, sorry. Were you scared? Did you, did you know that it wasn't too serious? Uh, you know, I, I, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what to expect, and um, you know, it's I just trusted what the what the treatment center, the doctors, and our, our staff uh, said, and I was you know more I was more concerned at that part about missing the rest of practice. You know. How do you look at uh, how your rookie season went? When you, I'm sure you've had a chance to break down the film and stuff. Like when you look back, like what did you like? What didn't you like? You know, I think um, every single year in my football career, uh, it's every off season. There's highs and there's lows. There's things you can take from the off season. I wouldn't, you know, I had some struggles last year, but I think you know, every single year ever since I was a little kid, I've had struggles. So taking them not not in a negative view, but saying like, okay, this is an opportunity where I can come and fix my game this year. It's not, you know, it's not a negative. Don't put it in a negative. Take it next year and build off of it. And there's positives to build on that too. So it's, I think. I think, it's, I think it's keeping an even keel and not taking the bads and not taking the goods, just staying right down the middle and just continue to get better. I know what I got to work on, and that's that's the biggest key right now is knowing practice to practice where you're where you're lacking. You got to work on that, and you can't focus on ten different things in practice. You got to focus on one thing, and so you can get better at it every single day. You, Matt, and Andrew were all drafted in the same draft class. What, is there kind of like? You know, adding chemistry, knowing that you guys all came in together, coming up together, now on the same line together. Yeah, yeah, I think we're we're a really tight group, and I think uh, all on the offensive line. I think me, Gates, uh, Will, you know, even Kenny Wiggins now. Uh, Solder, it's nice having him back. I think we have a really tight knit group where we really enjoy our, each other's presence and uh, we really enjoy working with each other. I think we're holding each other, each other really accountable this year and uh, I think it's, you know, we're growing together. What, what has it been like with this uh, coaching structure you guys have? As you, have, you mentioned all four, the four guys that have been coaching you, Freddie, Rob, uh, Ben Wilker. They all bring in valuable experience, you know, and I think they all have the same, the same message and I think it's really good having more voices in the room because they have different, you know, aspects of seeing things. Uh, you know, I, we have great relationships with every single one of them, and I'm just I'm blessed to have such a great room full of coaches. What about Rob in particular? What's he been like? Coach Sale, Coach Sale is awesome. You know, uh, he, he teaches he teaches you know nastiness. He teaches being smart. He teaches physicality, and he teaches you know being tough. And uh, his guidelines are really we're really buying into that, and, and uh, you know continue to get a lot better. How did you get hurt? Was it friendly fire or just something like that? You know, it was it was you know it's it's a weird you know plant. It was just a weird thing. Uh, you couldn't even see it on film. It's just one of those things, you know. Yeah. How big is that? Do you have to deal with or is that like that? Oh, you know, I think I think I'm just you know taking it one day at a time. You know, I don't I don't you know know I have a timetable or anything like that. It's just uh, it's good being back out there today. Shane, was it as a young player you watched some of these older veterans retiring back to back like that in your room? These are guys you're learning to be teammates with, and then they leave. How do you react to that? Like how how do you see that? How does do you think the room reacts to that? Yeah, you know, I think uh, it's not my place, you know, to say anything about that. But obviously, Zach, uh, Joe Looney, and all those guys are they're respected veterans that were in our room, and um, you know, you can't you can't. Those guys, these guys play their butt off for 10, nine years, and that's a personal decision. You know, I don't even want to speak on. You know, I'm year two. I can't speak on that because those guys are vets. They've seen it all, and I'm, you know, blessed to have those guys. You know, in my room for that, even that short amount of time. How weird was last year for you in the sense that Will gets sick? You come in, you grab the job, you keep the job. Was it difficult? You know, I mean, your job is to do your job, but taking over for somebody because they got sick. Uh, you know, I think it's. I think it's. Uh, it wasn't weird. You know, I think that's football. 
uh, I come to practice every single day with the mentality, you know, no matter what happens, every every weekend, every Sunday, that game, no matter if I was playing or not, I was ready to go in. And I took that approach, and I, you know, I had a really good group of veterans last year who taught me that mindset. And uh, you know, I just whenever I was, my name was called, I was going to be ready to prepare did or ready to report. You and say no problem, you know. What's that? Did, did he ever come up to you and say no problem, you know, just go out, keep on playing? Who will? Will? Uh, you know, Will and I have a great relationship, and uh, I was, you know, I was worried about the, you know, just week to week process of getting better every single time. You know. Shane, back to that when you had it go off on the cart. I've, yeah. had, I've had guys tell me that's about the loneliest you can have for about 45 seconds when you're rolling off there. Is that kind of what you feel? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. You know, I didn't feel sorry for myself at all. I didn't, it's not like that. I was obviously, like I said, I was worried about crap. I didn't get my other one-on-one rep. Crap, I didn't get the the last team period. In my mind, I was thinking I'm missing val valuable opportunities to get better in this practice. So that's all that was going through my head. Shane, you kind of like that label of being a nasty player on the field. Uh, you know, I've, 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 I've took a lot of pride in, in that as being my, you know, characteristic ever since I was a young football player. And the way I was taught playing this game is through physicality and nastiness. And, uh, you know, if it, that's what, you know, but you, it's, you can talk about it, but you can do it. You know what I mean? And you, you watch tape, you want to be able to see it on tape. You can't say you're a nasty player and not do it. You have to. You know, I'd, I'd rather walk the walk than talk the talk, so to speak. Did you see yourself doing that? Obviously, like there's highs and there's lows. There's times where I'm not, and there's times where there aren't. You got to keep that even keel. So, you know, it's it's not my job to name myself as a nasty player. Did you did you change your appearance? I mean, you look different this year. What do you say? The mustache. The must I had a mustache last year, it just wasn't as good. <laughs> <laughs> I still got to work on it a little bit, but yeah.